Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will now call to order the Thursday, February 14th, a, a regular meeting of Union County Board of Chosen Freeholders. Uh, at this time, uh, I'll ask the clerk of the board to call the roll. Freeholder Estrada. Uh, present. Freeholder Garretson. <laughs> Freeholder Granados. Here. Freeholder Hudak. Here. Freeholder Palmeri Muded. Here. Freeholder Staten. Freeholder Williams. Here. Vice Chairman Mirabella. And Chair Kowalski. Here. Chair Kowalski, you have six freeholders in attendance. Thank you. Would you please lead us in the prayer and salute to the flag? Humbly we ask God, the giver of peace and the lover of charity, to give the entire family of nations true agreement with his will and to grant the light of his spirit on all who work for justice and peace. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and Clerk of the Board, would you please read the Statement of Compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act. The Chair wishes to announce that pursuant to the requirements of New Jersey Statutes Annotated, Title 10, Chapter 4, Section 10 of the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting of the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Union has been given by mailing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2019, along with periodic changes necessitated by circumstances to the newspapers circulating within the County of Union who are designated to receive such notice and by posting the annual meeting schedule for the year 2019 in the administration building and further by filing the annual meeting schedule for the year 2019 with the office of the county clerk. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask that you all join me in a moment of silence as we commemorate the one year anniversary of the deaths of 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Thank you. May I have a motion to approve communications? So moved. Second. Moved by Freeholder Hudak, seconded by Freeholder Granados. Clerk, please call the roll. Freeholder Estrada? Yes. Freeholder Granados? Aye. Freeholder Hudak? Aye. Freeholder Palmeri Muded? Yes. Freeholder Williams? Aye. And Chair Kowalski? Yes. Chair, you have six votes in the affirmative. And now, Clerk, would you please read the ordinance by title, ordinance number 805-2019. Ordinance number 805-2019, bond ordinance to amend the following bond ordinances previously adopted by the Board of Chosen Freeholders of the County of Union, State of New Jersey. One, bond ordinance number 752-2013, adopted on August 22nd, 2013, as previously amended by bond ordinance number 760-2014, adopted on October 9th, 2014, and bond ordinance number 786-2017, adopted on August 17th, 2017. Two, bond ordinance number 759-2014, adopted on September 11th, 2014, as previously amended by bond ordinance number 786-2017, adopted on August 17, 2017. Three, bond ordinance number 776-2016, adopted on August 18th, 2016. And four, bond ordinance number 787-2017, adopted on August 17, 2017. Thank you. And now I'll open the meeting up to the public for the purpose of commenting on ordinance number 805-2019 only. Anyone wishing to comment, please state your name and town of residence. <coughs> Seeing no one, I'll formally close this portion of the meeting and 
Uh, Freeholder Granados, would you please move ordinance number 805 2019 for final reading and adoption? As a member of the fiscal committee, I move ordinance number 805 2019 for final reading in accordance with the clerk of the board to advertise the same in accordance with the law. May we have a second? Second. Seconded by Freeholder Williams. Clerk of the board, please call the roll. Freeholder Estrada. Yes. Freeholder Granados. Aye. Freeholder Hudak. Aye. Freeholder Palmieri Mudad. Yes. Freeholder Williams. Aye. And Chair Kowalski. Yes. Chair, you have six <coughs> votes in the affirmative. Thank you. The meeting is now open to the public for the purpose of commenting on re any resolutions being offered for adoption and <coughs> those resolutions only. So kindly state your name and town of residence for the record and give the number of the resolution to which you're referring. Seeing no one wishing to comment, I'll formally close this portion of the meeting. And we'll move on to approval of the resolutions. May I have a motion to adopt resolutions 2019-110 through 2019-144? So moved. Second. Moved by Fielder Hudak and seconded by Fielder Granados. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Freeholder Estrada. Yes. And Freeholder Granados. Aye. Freeholder Hudak. Aye. Freeholder Palmieri Mudad. Yes. Freeholder Williams. Aye. And Chair Kowalski. Yes. Chair, you have six votes in the affirmative on all resolutions. Thank you. And now I would like to open the meeting to the public for the purpose of commenting on any governmental issue that a member of the public feels may be of concern to the residents of the county. If kindly state your name and town of residence if you wish to comment. Seeing no one, I will formally close this portion of the meeting. Um, we have a, a something um, that um, I'm at, we've added to the agenda. Be before asking for freeholder comments, I want to invite my colleagues for a special resolution presentation. Um, and clerk. <coughs> I'd like to call purchasing director Mike Yuska to the front. <laughs> uh, <Hi>. <laughs> please. Um, be comfortable with this seeing as this is your last freeholder meeting um, we wanted to present a resolution to you and uh, maybe I'll, uh, I'll just come out here and ask all the freeholders to join me in front of the dais so okay. we can take a picture. So, can I just read a little bit of it? <laughs> okay, I'll have to put my glasses on. Um, it's, it's, an early, it's an early night. So, we wish to congratulate Director of Administrative Services, Michael Yuska, upon his retirement and commend him for his many years of outstanding service and leadership during his years of employment with the County of Union. Uh, lived longtime resident of the county, began his career in Union County in the Purchasing Department in 1999, uh, became the direct Division Director of Purchasing, Assistant Purchasing Agent, and finally Division Head of Purchasing in 2005, uh, demonstrated flexibility, knowledge, and versatility in all of these roles, roles and rose to the position of Director of the Department of Administrative Services. Sorry for my misstep there. And, um, and in this capacity, he's been responsible for administration of personnel, labor, risk management, employee benefits, 
workmen's compensation, and several other divisions. Uh, Mike has implemented numerous internal policies and procedures to ensure efficient governmental purchasing. He's attended more than 350 freeholder meetings, missing only four meetings in the span of, of 17 years. Um, you can talk to us about your uh, fandom for uh, the, uh, the New York Yankees, and, uh, and we, we know that you're going to be relocating to Texas, having recently married. So we just want to let you know we, how much we appreciate <coughs> all the great work that you've done in many years of service. So thank you, Mike. know can be a little abrasive and you've always sat here with grace and honor and I've always been really really impressed by that and um, I don't think I could have done it but it, <laughs> but besides that um, it's always been my honor to serve here I really felt like I was making a difference to the taxpayer and you can't ask for more than that in a job so thanks a lot for freeholder reports. Uh, freeholder Granados. Thank you, Chair. I just want to take a note in the audience and seeing so many people wearing red, not exactly sure why, <laughs> but I just want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day and thank our employees, directors, freeholders for uh, being here during a special occasion. And a lot of people are going to go home and get in trouble with their husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends. But we thank you being here because the work of the county is uh, nonstop and we thank you for your service. So that's it, Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Freelder Williams? Yeah, I too want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. I did not get the memo one read. <laughs> but I won't hold that against you. And again, congratulations to Mike Yuska. And I just, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, looking forward to March, uh, I'd like to remind you that our yoga classes, yoga, meditation, and wellness classes will continue. Um, starting Friday, March 8th, at the Masker's Barn up in the deserted village. The evening, uh, that particular evening includes a short talk in time to network, in addition to uh, yoga and a guided meditation session. If you are interested in attending, you must pre-register, so just register at ucnj.org forward slash women. I also want to uh, congratulate the 2019 Women of Excellence honorees. Uh, these awards honor women throughout Union County who lead, serve, and inspire. And this year we have 11 women who were selected as awardees in recognition of their accomplishments in education, medicine, arts, business, youth advocacy, and humani humanitarian activities, among other uh, fields. Uh, the awardees will be honored at our annual Women of Excellence Gala Awards Dinner, which is on March 29th at the Grand Centurions in Clark. That's all I have. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Freeholder. Freeholder Hudak? Thank you, Chair. Um, as many of you may know, uh, last week uh, Governor Murphy visited Elizabeth and at the, the Snyder Academy and participated in the signing of legislation that will raise the minimum wage to $15. Um, it was a proud moment. Many uh, of our, our friends uh, from the labor community were there, the Speaker of the Assembly, the Senate President, the Governor, our local elected officials. Um, and, and they all should be commended because this is a great thing. 
Um, many uh, New Jersey residents struggle um, with the minimum wage as it currently is, and I think it's not simply um, as it has been portrayed to be some sort of gift to people. Um, it is, it is, at fifteen dollars is a, uh, a living wage, um, and it is very hard to exist in this state, in this part of the country, uh, for less money. Um, it, it, it's also important to note that it's simply not something that's just going to disappear. It's money that's going to recirculate in our, to our communities and help people with jobs and businesses, and that's a good thing. So a very proud moment for our state, uh, just uh, a few hundred yards away from this building last week, and we're proud to participate. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Freeholder. And now Freeholder Palmieri Mudin. Hi, everyone. I uh, just wanted to um, uh, take note that we have an election cycle that will be coming up soon, um, and we will be rolling out new voting machines in Union County. Uh, voters in Berkeley Heights, Elizabeth, Fanwood, Garwood, Kenilworth, Mountainside, Union, uh, and Winfield will be using the new voting machines during the primary. Uh, Westfield will also be using them during the primary. Uh, they were piloted in Westfield this past um, uh, general election and uh, and then Clark Cranford Hillside Linden New Providence Plainfield Rahway Roselle Roselle Park Scotch Plains Springfield and Summit will use them in the general election in November um, they're really great machines they're easy to use uh, and efficient I do recommend uh, doing a test run uh, they we do have them um, on display in the Colleen Fraser building in Westfield as well as uh, in the courthouse here in Elizabeth. Uh, the tutorial is really fast um, and it's important because it's an easy machine but um, if you haven't been used to doing it uh, I think it would benefit you to, to do the the test run. I uh, also want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day and uh, hope everyone has a great weekend and thank you to Dr Director Yashka for your years here and, and good luck in Texas. Thank you, Freeholder. Freeholder Estrada. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, first, I want to take a few minutes to talk about Mike Yuska, who uh, arrived here about the same time that I did. So we were both newbies. And I know that over the many years, we've worked closely together. Uh, and I found someone who uh, explains and answers without any, uh, what do you call it, uh, there's no fluff. He gives it to you as it is. And we have appreciated that over the many, many years. No doubt that I'm sure that I asked him numerous time questions that were not in terms of difficult, but I know that he had a, a maneuver through those particular answers. But I have appreciated, Mike, the years you have been here uh, uh, for various reasons. Once you uh, made up a team of individuals who are very knowledgeable and committed to the betterment of the, our taxpayers, which is so critical when it comes to purchasing. Uh, you make sure that uh, that everything that we do is within the scope of the law, and that's, I know that it's not only you, but uh, a team of individuals who help achieve that. And uh, I could only wish you the best. I know that uh, we're making a big difference with Democrats in uh, Texas. Uh, I know that uh, Texas <laughs> welcomes every Democrat there. Uh, and I know that you will be involved once you arrive to make sure that uh, <coughs> that Texas does change in the future. Uh, my congratulations to you and to your family uh, for this endeavor. You'll enjoy life. I hope you pick up golf now. <laughs> <laughs> the Yankees are far away, but I know we're going to see you often. Uh, and also, let me take a moment uh, on mm -hmm. another matter. Um, very often, I look down toward South America and Central America and try to keep some realities to what's happening to the people in countries outside of ours. Today, I must advocate on behalf of the Venezuelan people who are going to very serious struggle, where almost two million Venezuelans have left the country. Uh, they have either crowded in uh, Colombia, Ecuador, and every other country in Latin America, as well as Europe and the United States. Uh, the reality is that the situation is very difficult. Uh, and um, at this time, What's happening is that uh, countries of the world, the democratic countries of the world, are getting together in terms of trying to find a solution that will bring about uh, a, and address the issue that has taken place, which is the lack of uh, freedoms, uh, the lack of food, the lack of mobility, and just the general everyday operations of a country. It's not going to be an easy task. Hopefully, uh, we hope that uh, this will happen in a 
in a peaceful manner, it's hard to say. Uh, understanding that uh, the support that uh, the, the dictator there of Maduro is, uh, is, comes from Cuba, the Soviet Union, I think to a certain degree China and Mexico, uh, I think there will be definitely uh, problems taking place, but we'll hope and pray that uh, ultimately the uh, Venezuelan people will uh, find democracy, which is so critical. You know, I remember back in the 60s, uh, Venezuela has always had a very democratic uh, nation. As a matter of fact, uh, Romulo Betancourt, one of the previous, uh, previous presidents back in the 50s, was one of those who started the, in the Latin American context, the International Socialist movement, which is later on became the Social Democrats, and uh, a very learned individual who was always looking to ensure that Venezuela took care of all its people, a very uh, a country that's uh, very rich in oil, and today it uh, has basically no money to show for all the oil that it has. So we hope that uh, things will change in Venezuela. Um, in another matter, uh, you know, today, we uh, mark an anniversary of what happened in South Florida, but we can only remember and see, uh, this morning I was listening to the, the radio and listening to some of the children in school talking about, even though they had no school today, they had all kinds of meetings. The reality is that uh, as to how much has changed since a year ago. And uh, I do know that the young people of this country are a group of individuals who do not take things lightly. Uh, if, if anything that I, that I heard in them speaking was the frustration, the lack of uh, change that has been throughout the country. For example, um, if you look at the, at the areas, Florida itself has really, in terms of advancing toward resolving or putting some constraints <coughs> in place, minimal. Uh, I think some states have limited the, uh, uh, the actual number of, uh, ma of bullets that a magazine can hold. Uh, when it comes to the background checks, I know that Florida is not one of them. Other states have made some changes in the matter where um, the background checks are required. But we still, as a country, need to come together and, and find some solution to minimize the, the loss of individuals. even. Even the case of Las Vegas, where over almost 50 uh, people got killed, uh, even today we still don't know, even though the investigation has been complete, uh, what the ramifications are, what was in this gentleman's mind that made this happen. And, uh, and we just need to make more people aware of all the things, special elected officials, that we need to do to ensure that we minimize the risk in that, in that sense. So today we think of these young people that they lost. This is not the only ones that we have lost. Uh, but we have to make sure that we keep working to resolving some of those issues. And with that, I, I complete my comments. Thank you. Thank you, Freeholder. Uh, County Manager? Well, I just want to congratulate Director Yusko on his retirement. It's been a pleasure working with you the past year, Mike. County Council? Uh, just the same, to extend my congratulations to Mike. It's been a pleasure. We've worked for a number of years together. Wish him well, and that's all I have. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to mention before we close that the, um, the photo exhibit for Black History Month is outside in the hallway here, and I encourage uh, you to take a look at it if you haven't done that yet. Um, and. Next week, the exhibit will travel to the Warrenanko Sports Center in Warrenanko Park in Roselle. So um, it, there's a lot to be learned. And of course, we continue in uh, commemorating uh, black history throughout this month. On another note, the Freeholder Board has long advocated for at improvements in rail service for Union County. And as a member of the Raritan Valley Rail Coalition, uh, we have been going to meetings with New Jersey Transit. Um, freehold, former freeholder Bruce Bergen attended their meeting last night and reminded uh, the Tr New Jersey Transit Board that we would like to have our one-seat ride service restored. Um, they have told us it will be happening, but we don't know exactly when, so we will keep advocating for that. And of course, in line with asking for uh, improvements to our line, we also are, are, have joined our um, 
legislators on federal and state level to push for the gateway tunnel, which we know is so vital for uh, transportation throughout this region. So if you'd like to keep up to date on our progress uh, and join us in advocating for mass transit, please follow the Raritan Valley Rail Coalition on Facebook. And I'd like to just re repeat my good wishes to Mike Yeska. We are going to miss you, but we know you are on to good things in Texas. And um, with that, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. And all Thanks in favor? Yes. Yes. Thanks for letting me have it. All right. We're adjourned. Thank you. And happy Thank Valentine's you. Day. <laughs>